Well, let's talk about what the derivative of f at some x value is. And we actually just found the slope at a point by squeezing two points ridiculously infinitely close together. Basically, h approached zero. We had two, and then just a little bit more than two, and then we just squeezed them together till we could find the slope. And so instead of using the number two, let's use the number, the variable, x. And so here we go. The derivative of f at some value x is the limit as x, as h, sorry, approaches zero, of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. That looks familiar, you just did this. This is called the difference quotient, and you saw it in the last set of notes. Quotient, there, let's spell it correctly, T-I-E-N-T. -E and we are gonna have a little notation for it. The slope at a point, yes, that's an apostrophe, the slope of f at some point x is this. So instead of using a two, we're going to plug in, well, x. Okay, let me point out something else that happened here. We had two plus h minus two. Well, if we had x plus h minus x, the x's would cancel anyway, and we would just have an h in the denominator. Okay, so that's the derivative. What does derivative mean? Well, a derivative is just a fancy way of saying Slope, that's it, it's just slope. So the notations for the derivative, there are several different notations. Let's write them in blue. I'm feeling blue right now, not sad. I'm just feeling like writing with a blue color. Well, there's the one you just saw. There's also the change in y over the change in x, and we use d in that case. And then we also have y uh, prime, when you have an apostrophe there, you call it prime. So we have f prime of x, dy dx, dy over dx, often just called dy dx, and then y prime. So all of these are notations for the derivative. And so a couple things I want to talk about at the bottom. Uh, what f prime of c represents. So you're going to see some of these phrases in different contexts, and I just want you to be familiar with them. So it could represent the slope. of the tangent line to f at x equals c. That's one thing it could represent. It could also represent the instantaneous rate of change of f at x equals c. A couple more things. It could represent, it, it, it represents all these things. It could just be worded differently. It is the value of the derivative. Of f at x equals c. And it could be the slope of f at x equals c. So any of those are phrasings that you will see, <laughs> see, get it? You will see in reference to this. So f prime of c could be referred to as the slope of the tangent line, the slope of f, the instantaneous rate of change, and the value of the derivative.